Christ would here, December 12th, 2021, 1.35 p.m. I'm just doing this quick update to let you know that this is pretty much done with me. So congratulations, OPP Spencer Mills. Congratulations, Staff Sergeant Chief now gone. Robert Kane. Robert can fuck, can kill, can get away with it. Money badge, family, town council, Lucas. Congratulations, Shelley Huffington. Stacy, mental health worker, now Kingston. <coughs> and William Billy Woldridge, Blair Hardy. Been injured, tortured, lobotomized, provably. Brain split, skull split, provably. And the reason this is happening to me is because I spoke of police crimes. This is 100% revenge. Retaliation against me for over two plus years for speaking of police crimes. Because I had no criminal record or history. They had no excuse to do anything. All The only crime I have committed is trying to save my life report on who is committing crimes and how and who needs to be arrested and charged. They're using their positions, they're using their credentials, they're using their badges, they're using lies to justify the crimes that they are committing, they're using their positions and credentials and false guise of law to do it. They are pre-criminalizing their victims to get away with the crimes that they are committing using a badge or committing crimes outside of the badge. My body is being fucked up. My whole right side is completely gone. I have no feeling in my head or my face. I am being numbed. I am getting clicking as I'm talking in my left ear. I am deaf in my right ear, so congratulations, you motherfuckers. OPP is getting away with all their crimes on me. The hospital and doctors are getting away with all their crimes on me. Medically blacklisted. All my legal rights have been taken. All my human rights have been taken. And now as a result for me speaking up and wanting them charged and arrested, they turned around and co-conspired to do it to me, to put me away, to have me locked up. So I'm not talking about this identity theft, so I'm not talking about what has taken place and what had taken place. The sodomy, the brain damaging, my skull being fucking injured and swelled, going through identity theft. Having William Billy Woldridge's prisoner tracking put onto me for stalking, for framing. He is an inmate escapee, early release psych ward patient. He is the boyfriend to Spencer Mills. He is a co-offender and sex assaulter with Staff Sergeant. He is a child stalker and pedophile, human sex trade, slavery trafficker, children and adults with the chief, protected by Shannon Cork co-drug trafficker with Blair Hardy, Mills, Aldridge, and Kane. This is the reason that they are trying to do what they're doing to me because of me speaking of their crimes, and this is a revenge. This is their way to get out of it. They're using their doctors who are co-committers. They're using their badges, positions, lies. They're using MK Ultra. They are using remote neuro monitoring for invasive illegal surveillance. They see me doing this. They hear me doing it right now as I am doing this. I am being broadcasted through. I cannot get any medical help because who is involved? I am medically blacklisted. I can go to a hospital, but it would do me no good. Because it would just say senior file or if it was here, it just would not happen. I just would not be seen. I've had two CAT scans done on me in two years and that constitutes as nothing wrong. A swelling skull going flat and round and all the deforming and everything. 
means that somebody needs a psychiatrist. Apparently it means a person is retarded. Being sodomized is a joke and funny to doctors when it's done to me by cops. This is their way to get out of it. This is their way to turn everything around on me to make it look like me. Conveniently back May 27th after me asking for help numerous at times with lawyers and having these people charged, arrested, and with lawsuits against them. 24 hours later, Shelley Huffington lied to a judge to get incompetency bullshit in Kingston, and that was to sh in hopes of shutting me up, and it had nothing to do with incompetency. It was about stealing my blood. It was about shutting me up, and it was about in hopes of me being kept. They've tried everything. They went the mental illness bullshit route with this to try to discredit me to get out of it. They went the drug route. I do not do drugs. I am against them, and everybody knows me knows I am against them. They've tried to say I'm suicidal. They've tried to say I have a long criminal history and record, and none of it is true. They've tried to say I have a long mental illness record and history with hospitals, doctors, institutions, and all that other shit. None of it is true. That is William Billy Woldridge's life. I have no multiple personalities. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm sorry to tell you. I hear no voices. I am one person. I have no delusions. I do not think that I am somebody I am not. And there is me, and then there's the spiritual side. So... But other than that, there I, I am not somebody that I, I'm, I don't think I'm somebody that I'm not. I have no imaginary friends, no multiple personalities, no voices. Sure the fuck, I'm, I'm sure the fuck I'm not suicidal. I am about life. I've been trying to get help and save my life since this began and being stopped every step of the way because of lies against me. And now because of it, I have to go to OPP tomorrow by myself with no witnesses or help or protection where I could possibly be murdered or be taken and anything could happen to me. Compliments of Spencer Mills. Now he's going to have my prince to further frame me and fuck me over, which I, I believe that he will do it and the rest of them because they're, they've done everything else against me to try to get out of their own crimes labeling me what they are. They're pedophiles, they're junkies, they're drug traffickers, they're using their badges and positions as a means to be unsuspecting and to get away with it. So in turns, me being the victim, they're trying to fucking criminalize me so they can get away with their crimes because they can't have a get note that they are cops, human trafficking, committing homicides and how it's being done and using William Woldridge throwing fucking blood on my house arsons, murdering my dog, also stalking, kidnapping, and now trying to criminalize me because I've been trying for over two years to get arrested and lawsuits and charging on cops and doctors and William Woldridge. Now, conveniently, when this is almost done, this to me, the injuring and everything else is pretty much done. So now will come the time to turn this around. I have no feeling in my body. I have no feeling in my head. None. I need to go to a hospital. I want to get medical help. All this could be proven, but I cannot because it will not be done. Every time I would go to get help, it would be either Chris with a headache or I just wouldn't be seen, or when I was seen, I was belittled, called retarded, and treated like a piece of shit. And then I would walk out and made to look like I was the one refusing treatment. And that was not the case. But, you know, their doctors, they will use that lie against me. 100% guaranteed. <clears throat> they can't have it that they took it out that you're, they're using, they're in positions of care and trust and protection and they're using it and abusing it to their advantage to commit crimes 
including homicides against my mother for revenge retaliation for speaking of their crimes. And that's what this is about since the beginning. Since they couldn't do the mental health route or the mental illness bullshit route and all the other crap, now they're trying to criminalize me in hopes that I get locked up one way or another so they get rid of me so I'm not talking about this so it's back to business for them. My fucking skull is being completely deformed. It shrunk. There's differences in my face, the size, shape, and my skull, and everything else. I've been proving it. The deforming and injuries taken place with me. So, and I would just be called a fucking liar. I'm in my 50th year. I'm being treated like this because of me trying to save lives, and it's because of revenge against me, and I will not be proven wrong. But probably as of tomorrow... When I'm alone with the police, getting my fingerprints taken for them to criminalize me to finish this against me with the doctors in Waldridge, I am most likely going to be dead. So I want to say to my family and friends and everyone else, I love you, love all, hate none. And this is only because of me trying to save lives from these cops and doctors and their junkie boyfriend. And this is what's happening to me. Because I've done nothing else but speak of only crimes taking place with me and who it's being done by. But they all have immunity. They have lawyers. I don't even know what the fuck is going on. I have no information whatsoever about what has taken place with me. I cannot get a lawyer. I do not have a lawyer. So I'm going to be forced to take one of theirs, which I'm going to be screwed. So this is a 100% plan against me to fuck me in every way, shape, and form. And now they're going to use the court system to do it because of me wanting their arrest and criminal charging. But they can't have it getting out that they're doctors and cops committing these crimes, including human trafficking, pre-criminalizing their victims and doing it through this their system. And that's human trafficking where nobody is any wiser of the crimes being committed. Christ would love all, hate none. And like I said, I end up getting killed tomorrow or I disappear or anything. It's because of me do one this done to cops and doctors. And this is a revenge way of getting out of it and turning it around to me. So I've tried for protection. I've asked for it. I've asked for help. Nothing. So I'm pretty well as good as dead and I have no help. <laughs>